One of the other major problems that we'll have with our Google Classrooms in the next year is storage. Because we would have spent a whole year using Google Classroom and collecting a lot of assignments where some of these assignments may be large pictures or maybe even videos, that storage is counting towards our overall Google storage. Google gives you 15 gigabytes of free storage that spans your Google Drive, your Google Photos, and your Gmail. All three of those come together to store all your information and your 15 gigs can rack up really fast if your classroom is collecting a lot of assignments and data that is really big, right? What you would want to do is you'd want to check all your previous classes from the year before and either archive them and delete them or archive them, then go into your Google Drive and delete some of the things in your assignments that may not be necessary, particularly the bigger things or you may want to save them on your computer. If you want to keep them for future use, you may want to download them and clear out space in your cloud storage, which is your actual Google Drive. So in this video, we're going to try to go into that and see how we could avoid later on that your classroom is not allowing you to upload anything or no students could get anything because your storage would have been full. You're going to have to manage your storage as you had from the year before and delete things. So let's go into it. Okay, so we're taking a dive into your Google Drive and we're trying to see how we could clear out some of this space. First of all, you go to drive.google.com and you'll get to your drive and then you will see there is a folder called Classroom. Every single Google Classroom that you have ever created that you haven't deleted will be here. So you see a list of all of them and these classes are taking up space and some of them you may not need anymore. So what you want to do is let's say you have a class that has been archived, but you still want to get some of the information from it. But there are some assignments inside there that you um, need to delete because they are taking up too much space because the students have to submit like a video or they submitted a lot of pictures. Usually videos and pictures take up a lot of space. So that usually counts towards your Google Drive and it causes a lot of problems because remember, everything that goes into your classroom goes into your Google Drive and it takes up space on your drive and your 15 gigabyte limit can be reached very quickly. So. Let's say I go into a class and I am the teacher and I find that there's an assignment that they did that they had to submit files for. And let's say they submitted a file for, let's say this SPA bootstrap. If you go on the right hand side here, you'll see file size. And you'll see that the file size of these things will be like one megabyte, one megabyte, one megabyte. Usually one megabytes are not really that big. They are fairly small. So you're not really going to have much of an issue. But there'll be some times when you go on this side and you won't see one megabyte, you'll see like 10 megabytes. Anything that's over five to 10 megabytes could add up really, really fast. And if multiple children are submitting things at that size, it could take up space on your Google Drive very quickly. But if you're in the kilobytes range, you should be okay. So what you'd want to do is you would say to yourself, okay, the students don't ever have to see this assignment anymore because they don't need it. This was just a assignment that didn't have any big practical part it. I want to delete it. Or I want to save it just in case one of them asks for it, I have it on my computer. So in your Google Drive, you can click on the file, on the folder, sorry, right click on the folder, and then click download. And when you click download on the bottom right hand side, it will zip the folder for you and give you the ability to download it and save it somewhere. You can save that anywhere and if, uh, if somebody needs it back, they could get it. In the case where you know that there was some assignment where you asked them to upload videos and pictures and the videos and pictures are taking up a lot of space because you can see that your Google Drive is kind of full, you could just go and delete folders from inside of that particular classroom. Now the classroom might still be archived because you want them to be able to go back and see things. That's okay, but there'll be certain assignments that you want to get rid of. You could just delete it and then there'll be no trace of it inside of your Google, Google Classroom after that. You may see the assignment, but when you go to the actual submissions, you will see nothing there because all the attachments will have been deleted. But don't forget, after you click delete inside your Google Drive, make sure you go to trash after, click on trash, and then click on empty trash. Because if you don't empty trash, what will happen is that the, the files will still be in your drive. 
So you have to click empty trash and then you see delete forever. And then when you click delete forever, that's when it's actually going from your drive and that's when the storage bar will start to get smaller because you have to actually remove it. In the next school term, if you have all of the stuff on the previous class, you're guaranteed that by about January, February, your Google Drive is going to be full. When, when children try to upload something, they're going to see an image that looks something like this. Right, that image usually means that there is an issue. More often than not, the issue is a storage issue and nobody will be able to upload, not even the teacher. That's because the drive will be full. So you'll want to go and check your drive to make sure that it is not full. And of course, if you have other things in your drive that are not in the classroom folder, like pictures or images, you would want to click on the storage icon here. And the storage icon will show you all of your files. And on your right hand side, you will see storage used. Anything that is over like 100 megabytes, you're going to have a problem because they're going to take up a lot of space. So look at this here. Anything that's over like 100, 150, 200 megabytes, some of them might even be gigs. You might want to delete them, but you need to check to make sure that you know where they're being deleted from because they may very well be a part of an assignment that you would have given for a previous class that you may want to keep. So if you click on the storage icon, which is the little cloud, you'll be able to see your whole Google Drive and then you might be able to delete things from there also because what you don't want is in the middle of the term, you go into your classes and then you never check your storage and then you realize storage is full and you have to go and clear this out now. Best you do it in advance. So that is clearing up your Google Drive um, from the classroom and also generally your whole Google Drive.